The good gentleman from the 20th District, for what purpose do you rise? Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise for a point of personal privilege. Please proceed. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, Saturday night, um, a young deputy in Calais County responded to a call uh, of a, uh, a vehicle blocking a roadway uh, in the Kalama area. And dispatched to that scene, he was shot, was able to call uh, on his radio to dispatch, and uh, other uh, officers were sent out. He was life flighted to Vancouver, but he did not survive. Deputy Justin Durosier was 29. He was, he grew up in, in Kelso. He went to WSU and studied criminal justice. He worked for Whitman County Sheriff's Office for four years before coming to the Cowles County Sheriff's Office. Ironically, a few years ago when Deputy Dan McCourtney of the Pierce County Sheriff's Office was killed, he volunteered to take shifts in Pierce County. Saturday, people were taking shifts in Cowlitz County to cover for him and to cover for other officers. I saw police cars in the area from all over the area, Castle Rock, Kelso, and I know Clark County was uh, leading uh, in the search. Um, this is not far from where I lived. Um, two of the suspects were apprehended, I believe, Sunday morning. The last one was apprehended and fatally shot. I actually received a reverse 911 call letting us know that we were not in danger, but there was police activity in our neighborhood person had come out of the woods nearby. The officer that was killed was 29 years old. He had a five-month-old daughter. The spouses of our law enforcement officers always worry children of law enforcement officers always worry that they won't come home. And that's the case with Justin. His wife Katie, his daughter Lily, he didn't come home. It sends a shockwave through our community the family, but through our community, and through the law enforcement community throughout the state. He's obviously known in Pierce County for his service there, filling in, taking shifts, and for working in Whitman County. So many areas of the state are directly affected because they would have known him in law enforcement throughout our state and throughout our nation are negatively affected by this. And I know we did a moment of silence earlier today, but I wanted to take a moment for the people on the floor to know a little bit more about the deputy that we've lost. And so I wanted to take a moment today, and I want to thank you for giving me a, a, a few moments this afternoon. But I hope that people will take a few minutes sometime during the day and just remember our law enforcement officers I do want to say thank you to all those officers who came in and worked, all of our search and rescue folks that were um, called in and working on a Sunday uh, to make sure that the perpetrators did not get away. So I really want to say thank you and please take a few moments sometime today to think of our officers, and certainly think of this officer and think of his family. Say a prayer. Thank you. Thank you.
We will keep them in our thoughts.